All right. So we've talked about two different formulas, right? We talked about a formula um, when we have a vertical parabola, either it opens up or opens down. But then we also introduced a formula for horizontally, right? OK. So right now they're saying find the standard form of the equation if we have a vertex at 2, 1 and a focus at 2, 4. So right now I, I need to determine, well, which formula am I going to be using with the focus? Am I going to use the vertical and the horizontal? So the best thing I would tell you guys to do first is to plot the points and see which one would make sense. So let's uh, plot the two points here. So if I have a vertex at 2, 1, and then I have a focus at 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now remember, the definition of a parabola is the set of points that are equidistant from a focus and your directrix. So remember, our directrix has to be the opposite direction from our focus. So if our focus is up, our direction, so this distance is 1, 2, 3, um, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's right there. So there's our focus. And then this one's going to be up 3, so now 1, 2, 3. So we don't really have to write our directrix. But now you guys can see, here's our directrix. Here's our focus. What way is the parabola going to do? Is it going to open up, down, left, right? Which way is our parabola going to open up? Anybody? Bueller? Right. Yeah, but which way? Is it going to open up? Is it going to open down? Left, right? Up, up right? Because it always is going to open so it contains your focus. Because remember, these distances, and I know my parabola is not the best, but you remember the distance from the focus to the directrix has to be equal for your parabola. So your parabola is always going to contain inside of it its focus. Is it always going to have the same number, like Remember when it's a vertical, right? When you have a vertical, it means it opens up or opens down. Yes, your focus and your um, your focus and your vertex are going to rely have the same x coordinate, and if it was horizontal, they'd have the same y coordinate. So, so now we now we know we're dealing with a parabola that's going to be vertical. So we can write the equation. So we have x minus h squared equals four p times x or I'm sorry times y minus k. All right. So they said find the standard form. So we know that we have our vertex, which is our h and our k. So we can plug that in. All right. So that was our h and our k. That's from what we've done before. But now we need to look at what is our p. Remember, the p is your distance from your vertex to your focus. And it's also a distance from your vertex to your directrix. But we're just going to be looking primarily and seeing what is this absolute value. Obviously, it's positive to the focus and negative to the directrix. But the absolute value of that is going to be 3. three. Well, I'm sorry. Your p, we're just going to be looking at the positive value. Since this opens up, we're going to want to make sure it's positive. So we notice that this is going to be 3. Because obviously, if our, if our vertex opened down, the, this p would be negative, right? So we're just going to look at from the um, from this distance when it's going from your vertex to your focus, which will be 3. So we'd have x minus 2 squared equals 4 times 3, y minus 1. All right? So this is going back to our standard form, but could we write this back into a, uh, a standard equation, standard form that we've done before? Yeah. So we have like this. Um, so now you could just do x minus. 4x plus 4 equals 12y minus 12. Yes, it is. All right. Then what you could do is you could add the 12 to the other side. So you have x squared minus 4x plus 16 equals 12y. Then you want to get the y by itself, right? So we divide by 12. And rather than having each one of these terms divide by 12, we could just say it's going to be y equals 1 12th times x squared minus 4x plus 16. 
or you could have every term simplified every term by dividing by 12 and leave them as fractions. So you'd have 1 12th x squared minus 1 3rd x um, plus uh, 4 oh, 4 thirds. You could do it that way as well.